recovery still hasn't begun. If there's one thing Ian Smythe won't do, it's take a back seat. We're not going to be there quietly in the background. Uh, that's not our nature, it's certainly not my nature personally. He stepped up the fight to see a new sporting and entertainment facility built in Townsville. We've had some preliminary discussions with Lawrence Lansini and the Cowboys and Peter Jordan and I are talking um, constantly about what could be achieved if we work together. There's still no start date for a six-month business study announced before Christmas. They're at the moment drafting up the terms of reference and terms of how the study will take place and what they will need to look at as part of that business plan. Uh, certainly the sooner they get started the better. The Croc CEO has also begun meeting with Merrill candidates to see where they stand. I'm getting very positive comments. I mean it's early days uh, and, and we'll wait and see as their policies get rolled out. Jenny Hill will fight for the state and federal governments to pay for it all so ratepayers won't pay a cent. I personally think they should and that's what we should have been pursuing in the first instance. Council chose not to pursue that. The people of Townsville can't afford to do this on their own and we need that state and federal commitment to it and from private enterprise probably. With budget talks about to begin, if a decision isn't made by March, Council could pull its $47 million to use for other projects. If it continues right through till June, well then there's that very real threat that then will then go uh, 12 months down the track before it comes back onto the drawing board. I think it's something that unless we keep it on the agenda and we keep it in the front of people's minds, we're not going to get it. Melissa Mallett, 7 News.